Um, hello, this is Aksena from Alabama, your favorite realtor mobile. And today uh, I invited for my channel Hill Robinson. That's right. Um, and the video going to talk about construction loans. Yep. Um, well, let's do it. Um, please, well, first say hi to subscribers. Hey, subscribers, how are y'all? Um, so, if somebody wants to build the house of their dream, and they tell me, right. I'm looking for land, like they don't have a land yet. Okay. And uh, I want the house, you know, build the house. What's the first step? The first step is getting qualified to see if you can afford the land and the house that you want to build. Um, so if they're working with you and they want to buy land, they need to find the land. They need to have an idea of how much the land is going to cost. And then they need to talk to builders to kind of get an idea of how much the house they want to build is going to cost. Um, and once they've got all that figured out, they can apply for a construction loan and we can get the process started there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, construction loans helps to build the house and buy land. Correct. Is that correct? Yep. Um, you can do it where the land is bought with the same loan as the construction loan. So if you have all your plans and you're ready to go, you can buy the land and do the building of the house at the same time. How do they get plans? They would need to talk to a builder uh, or an architect or a drafter, someone who either has existing plans that they can buy or they could just speak with an architect to get custom plans built for a house that they'd want to build that's like a custom home. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so what do you think about um, the down payment? Um, construction loan requires how much money? 5% down. 5%? 5%. Um, but so if it's a million dollar for land and the house, for example. Okay. Million dollar, 5% for a million dollar gonna be what? For, well, for a million dollars, that would be considered a jumbo loan. So it may be a little bit more than that, probably more like 20%. Mm -hmm. So if it's gonna be that high, it may be 20%. Um, but if you're gonna borrow anything less than $766,000, then it would be 5%. Okay. Let's well, just repeat that. Okay. So five percent for so what's the ceiling? Seven hundred and sixty-six thousand dollars. Seven hundred sixty-six. So yep. if they can get the house and the land under seven hundred sixty-six, yes, it's five percent. Correct. And if it's more than that, it's probably going to be twenty percent. Mm. How much closing cost could be? Um, one percent, two percent of the whole the whole value of everything. Um, probably closer to one percent. Okay. Yeah. So it's a lint. So but but you can, you know, for example, if you want to buy a house for or buy the land and do the loan for the house for five hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars, and at the end of the project, it's worth seven hundred and fifty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. You've got two hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of equity. Well, that's way more than five percent of the minimum. So you could roll in your closing costs into the loan if you wanted to. You can just borrow up to 95% of the value of the land and the home. Mm. So how bank works with the builder? How does bank work with the builder? Good do you question. control do you control it or Good question. So at the start of the construction line after you've bought the land and you're ready to start building the property, the bank sets up a checking account or a bank account in your name and as you need money for the build, they will deposit money into that account where then you write the check to the builder. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So like if, if the builder says they need $50,000 to get the house going, you tell the bank, hey, I need to borrow $50,000 to get the house going and they will deposit $50,000 into your account and then you just write a check to the builder for $50,000. And they send someone out throughout the, throughout the building process to check to make sure that what the money they've given you is being allocated to the right things. So for example, if the builder wants $100,000 and the bank sends somebody out there and there's only been $50,000 worth of work, that's a red flag mm -hmm. because the builder has probably used the other 50,000 for something else, mm -hmm. not not your house. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So builder not going to get all the money up front. Correct, they will not. So you a bank stands inspector? Correct. Okay. Yep. To see how process is flowing. Right. Okay. Uh, so what else we need to know? Except maybe something I didn't. How, do 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 you require builder to finish in a certain amount of time, like six months, eight months, or it doesn't matter? So typically the construction loan is twelve months, mm -hmm. but if 
it's a large house that needs more time, it'll be okay to extend it a few months. Um, if it gets to where it's more than 14 months, typically, they'll want to refinance the construction loan into another 12 months, which may or may not, it, it probably won't have any additional cost because to the bank, it's just a matter of restarting the paperwork on the loan. Um, it's really not a huge, huge deal. But in that 12 month period, you will get six draws, which is what you call it when the builder asks for money. So okay. the builder can't be asking for money every week. The builder needs to, um, I guess, build up an amount that they need to ask for at once, you know, to do it six times throughout the process. Does that make sense? Six times. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I have a question. So let's okay. say we found land, okay. right? And the buyer wants the land. Right. So, and you are the lender. Right. So what do we do? Like, how, so we're going to contact the builder, mm -hmm. right? Well, the, the first step would probably be to reach out to me. Mm -hmm. to make sure they can get qualified for it. All right. Okay, qualified. Yeah. Do, do you actually dictate them which builder to use? No. No. So no. they decide which builder. Correct. They have to shop for builder. Correct. Because I know different builders charge a different amount of money. That's right. For, you know, for square, per square feet. Yep. So when we, so we have to close on the land first. So it's like a, the closing, they pretty much buying the land and construction loan pays partially for the house? Correct. So that is one thing that's unique about our construction loan is that when you buy the land and you're doing the construction loan at once, it's one, one set of closing costs. It's a one close program, whereas most other programs are two sets of closing costs. You pay closing costs up front for the land and the construction, and then you pay closing costs at the end when you turn it into your permanent mortgage. Mm -hmm. With us, it's one set of closing costs. You pay about a third of it up front on the front end for the construction land close. Mm -hmm. And then we leave that other two thirds for the second closing in your permanent mortgage because you may be able to have that equity to roll the closing costs into the loan. What I mentioned earlier. When does the realtor get paid? Uh, when they purchase the land at the beginning. In the beginning. Mm -hmm. And the realtor gets paid for the land. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, and behind us, there is a website for Bay Mortgage. That's right. How many people work at your company? We have seven people in our office. Um, my uncle owns the company, so I work with my uncle. There's one more loan officer like me, and then there's a few ladies in our office that are the processor underwriters, and we have a receptionist. So, mm -hmm. all a very small company. We do stuff very quickly and very, very efficiently. Do you prefer when people call you or text you, and how soon you can respond? Please tell us. I am always available, nights and weekends, um, after hours is fine, but getting in touch with me on my phone is the best, typically through a call or a text message. And here you will see uh, Hill's information, mm -hmm. and I uh, hope he can help you with your construction loan, build the house of your dream. That's right. I would love to help you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.